Today I want to talk about service-based branding. Do good. When we're talking about service-based branding, the emphasis has to be on your brand, first of all. Realize your brand is what you do. You may be saying one thing, but it's really revealed in your work, in your efforts, in what you're actually performing. So when you think about your business, when you think about a product you're trying to communicate, what does it do? What good does it provide? And when you think about the service base, that's you as an individual really caring about the end user. Who are your stakeholders? Who does this involve? So let's jump to it. When you're thinking about service-based branding, the thing you want to do is communicate value. Now, what is that service that you want to have? What is it you're trying to do? Well, the whole fact that you're in a marketing environment shows that you're trying to create value, you're trying to make money. But there are two ways to do it. There's the money grab, where you're trying to grab as much as you can. And then there's the money hold, where you actually have your hands out. And you can have much more with the money hold than the money grab when you're trying to get to it. But what's the difference? Well, when you think about providing a service, the money grab means you're manipulating facts. You know what, I just got to do what I have to do to get this sold to you. I got to make sure I communicate my point so you'll do business with us. And I'm trying to maybe mislead you. I'm going to manipulate facts so that maybe I'm not lying, but they're coming toward you in such a way that you believe what you want, even though that's not what I'm claiming. It promotes greed. You want to get the deal done no matter what the consequences is because we're trying to create value that way. The other way and the big problem with the money grab is you churn customers. You never build a relationship. You cannot come back to that customer and have credibility again. So the challenge you have in providing a service is it's a one-shot deal. There's no longevity. There's no efficiency in growth because you have to continue to gain customers because you turn them away because you're being insincere. Now the money you hold, on the other hand, what that represents is the fact that you are building relationship, that you're trying to establish clarity. This is what we are. I'm being transparent. You can trust me because I am trustworthy. The other thing you're trying to do ultimately is create value. So when you start thinking about the money hold, what you're trying to do is create longevity. You want to have service-based brands shows that you're concerned about serving. When you're at a networking event, you're introducing people. You're being of service. So now all of a sudden it's your credibility that's being demonstrated that makes your product, makes your service powerful. Not the fact that I have the greatest widget in, in history and people want to believe it and you're not so sure and you just want to make sure you grab the money before you leave. So in conclusion, when you think about service-based branding, consider that your persona is what's golden. The relationships you are building is what's best. The fact that when you're in the community, you're looking for opportunities to create value, to connect people. For people to realize you as a problem solver and someone who helps their cause so they come back to you looking for the solution and you just happen to wrap it in your product. Service-based branding means doing good. And when it's done right, you will personally do well.